Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy CJ back again with another video, another Tesla video. Uh, we are in the Model S uh, Raven performance model and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of driving around today. I'm here with my family. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take off now. So right here in the dash, if you guys can see, you can see the red lights, you can see the cars that are turning. Now turn right on to Gate Parkway North. I was supposed to turn right, but I'm turning the wrong way, but it's all good. We're gonna cancel the uh, navigation. All right, so we're here, we're getting on the expressway. This thing take off like a jet, guys. Oh my God. So the thing I like the most about this car so far is the regenerative braking. Uh, the car goes zero to 60 in 2.4 seconds. So you always want to make sure that you're able to stop in a good amount of time. Um, and it can't be understated enough, the fact that the regenerative braking has such an aggressive mode to it. Um, so you can have a low mode where it kind of slows down on its own just a little bit. And then you have a standard mode, which just kicks it in the high gear. You don't have to put on the brakes as fast. Um, it's kind of like the car does the work for, for you, for itself. Um, but one great thing I really like about this car is the navigation. So I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm gonna go a little bit further away from the dealership and I'm gonna actually let the car take us back to the Tesla dealership uh, just so my family can kind of see that feature as well. So as soon as we activate the self-driving option, we'll come back to you guys. That's cold. That's cold. I like that. Ain't nobody signed in, of course. We got games. Cuphead is on here. That's one of my favorite. We got theater mode. We got Netflix, Hulu, uh, YouTube, Twitch. Actually, that's one of my favorite ones right there. And Tesla tutorials. That's actually pretty important because a lot of people are getting this car. There's so many features and so many options on this car. You might not know what to do. You might not know everything to do. So while you're sitting there charging up your car, you can hit on Tesla tutorials and figure out some more stuff about your car. All right, guys, so let's get this popping off. So one great thing I like about this car, guys, as soon as I got out of the car, the car automatically turned off. I didn't have to turn the car off. I just kind of walked away from it and it turned off. As soon as I got back in the car, the car turned back on. I don't think that I've ever experienced a car like that before, an old gas car at least. And I don't know man, this thing is so much fun to drive. If I could quote Elon Musk, it's basically like owning a miniature roller coaster. Seriously, it is. Now, one thing I really like about the car is the aggressiveness of the front. Um, the first Model S that came out had this this cap that was right here. To me, it didn't look so sporty, if you will. To me, it kind of looked like something that was made in a plastic factory somewhere. This right here, this design, I hope they go with this and they continue this and move it even further. Now, one great thing I like about this car too is for the aerodynamics, the handles are actually in the car. That small amount of detail just in and of itself is so impressive. We got the girl dynamic rounds here. I mean, from front to back, this car is equipped to just take off, just like a jet plane. Now, 
I don't know if this is something that comes standard, but as you guys can see, the Model S does have the automatic lift gate. And most of the cars that we've seen from Tesla do not have this automatically built in. I do not know if this is just because it's the uh, test drive model that they have this available. But all you do is you press the button there and the truck automatically goes down. You can't beat that. That's 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 awesome, guys. Now I want to take you guys in the interior. Now the one we have here, it's got the peanut butter seats, wood grain dash, very nice. And when you look up in the ceiling of this car. The glass is all, I mean the roof is all glass. So you're looking up and you see the sky. And I just can't think of a better way to spend a great day like this, guys. Can you? So we're getting ready to go back to the Tesla dealership. We're gonna let it do the autopilot all the way back. We're just gonna see how everything turns out. Uh, so wish, wish us luck, guys. As soon as we have that popping off for you, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, we're actually letting the car navigate us back to the dealership right now. As you can see, we have the navigation on the screen. We have the navigate on autopilot on. Look, mom, no hands. And uh, I, I gotta say, man, this car drives so smooth. <laughs> I just, I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't really know what to say about the performance of this car, except for what an amazing car. I mean, there's no other car on the market that has anything close to this. As far as driving with autopilot, autopilot is something that autopilot is something that is new to the to the car industry in and of itself. But it's also new to a company like Tesla. Tesla's been out for I say probably. They don't want me to. They don't want me to do autopilot for the rest of the drive. Okay. Well, at least we got a chance to kind of experience the autopilot. Um, but this is their car. They get to tell me whatever they want to tell me to do with the car. So uh, we will be taking it back. Autopilot is disengaged. But it is something pretty cool to have on your car, guys. It kind of reads the miles per hour on the road for you. Sets that for you. You, don't, you literally don't have to do anything. The only time that you have to really take control is if in a situation like what just happened where the car itself wants to, you know, take control because of the person who owns the car. Now, one thing I will say, this this navigation on the screen gets a little confusing because the turn by turn is actually on the screen in front of you here. So the compass view kind of shows you the layout of the map and it makes you feel like you're turning the wrong way sometimes. So I feel like that is something that they can update maybe a little bit later on in the software update. Uh, that is another good thing about these Teslas. If you buy a Tesla in 2020 and you own that Tesla until 2030, you will always have a new car. You will always have a new car because the car updates over time. So you get software updates over the air. You don't have to take it to the dealership. You don't have to do anything crazy. Uh, you know, you just receive the update pretty much overnight. You get up in the morning and you have a brand new car. Uh, I'll give you guys an example. They just did a recent update, probably three or four months back, where this Tesla Model S used to go zero to 60 in 2.4 uh, seconds. I believe it goes zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds now. So that was actually a speed increase over a software update. That's ridiculous. Uh, you don't get that type of performance in a gas car, and a lot of other electric cars that are on the market right now don't even have that ability. So we're pulling in now. Now turn right onto Big Island. And the last thing that we're gonna show off, guys, is the auto park. We're gonna let this thing park itself. And then we're going to give it a little bit of charge because we don't want to drop this off to the dealership after using so much battery life without being courteous. So as soon as we get there, we'll be back with you guys. Just showing off this this auto park and the Tesla. Man, this is crazy. No hands.